What's up guys, Hazy here coming at you with my first ever episode of the Binding of Isaac Rebirth and this is with the Afterbirth Plus DLC. I am doing a series on this just uh, for the long anticipated Isaac DLC coming to us very very soon here. I figure I'll get a save file going and uh, just unlock some of the stuff on camera um, so that when the new DLC drops we'll actually be able to play it and hopefully experience it. Uh, not maybe in full, but somewhat in full. Uh, I have never fully completed a save file. I'll show you uh, my f most complete save file right here. Um, we have most things unlocked with each character except for the Lost and the Keeper. Uh, some Greed and Greedier and Hush Runs and stuff. Uh, but we are starting completely fresh on this new file. We're going to play as Isaac. We're going to do everything on hard mode right away. So let's go. The Binding of Isaac was a game released by Edmund McMillan. Um, a long, long time ago. And then that birthed uh, a sequel called The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. And multiple wonderful DLCs. And the goal of this game is you are a depression stricken boy um whose mom is trying to kill him and your goal is to defeat your mother and potentially your own demons as you go through this fun little roguelike game a uh, little bit bullet helly not super bullet helly it's more like a um positioning slash strategy roguelike this is my best friend uh when we use our space bar we're gonna place a dummy character on the ground enemies will be attracted to it and after uh a little bit of time he will explode dealing damage to enemies it actually does quite a bit of damage and for some reason i think it has a weird interaction i'm not actually sure maybe this was like patched but a long time ago, I believe my best friend would one-shot you, or he would um, do a lot of damage for whatever reason to you. So, just slowly going through the motions here. We are about to encounter our first boss ever on the save file. We'll use a bomb here in case we get small rock. We did not get small rock. So let's go ahead and uh, just clear out the floor completely. Uh, because I think we're only going to be able to go to mom. Uh, we will not be able to. Whoa. We will not be able to go to the womb or anything. This room is actually kind of annoying. Probably more annoying than the boss. So I'm just going to use my best uh, friend here. We're only going to be able to go to mom, so I will try to milk out this episode a little bit because I do suspect I'm going to win. Uh, it's not guaranteed, obviously, but chances are I'll win. I have, uh, I think 400 hours in this game and 200 in the previous Isaac, so I've played a lot. Uh, something I've done over the years just to kind of time sync various activities. This is Larry Jr. It's almost reminiscent of the old game Snake. Um, if you do too much damage to his interior sections, he will split off into multiple Larry Juniors. So as much as possible, we're going to try to hit his head. But it's not the end of the world if he does split off. He's a pretty easy boss at the end of the day. Yep, see, he splits off like that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then, like I said, this the series is meant to just get a an Isaac file ready on camera, completely documented, um, ready for the DLC. So let's pick up the Spirit Heart because that's gonna let us go to the deal with the devil on the next floor. 
items haven't been too good so far, to be honest. My best friend is not the worst. It's kind of nice playing uh, a fresh save file because you really get to actually experience um, some decent spacebar items. So many of the... Uh, I mean, Isaac in particular, but also... Oh, wow, that was so poor. Um, Isaac in particular, but also... Uh, what's his name? Apollyon has a, the spacebar item that you typically want to keep throughout the whole run. Um, Maggie's, I mean, you don't want to keep it throughout the whole run, but I would probably keep Yumheart instead of my best friend. I don't know. There's just a lot more spacebar items that you start with later on in the game, and it's nice to be able to actually enjoy some of the niche spacebar items like my best friends. Because, you know, you don't always get a chance to do that later on in a save file when you have the D6 and Apollyon and Maggie. I, uh, my Spelunky series has taken a little bit of a, um, a hiatus, uh, which is okay, you know. This isn't my, uh, livelihood, so I'm allowed to do that whenever I want. And the reason for it, though, is because RuneScape had its double XP weekend, um, just last weekend. So I was playing a lot of RuneScape, uh, or it ended last weekend, I should say, um, RuneScape is a game that me and my buddies kind of just uh, play casually. Um, it's fun. It's a it's a nice little time sink if you're bored, especially with like quarantine. You can just like hop on and play for an hour or two, and uh, you feel like you're progressing towards something slightly. Uh, it's a video game thing, obviously, but uh, you know, progression is nice to see. A little bit of a dopamine kick, a little bit of a. Uh, you feel like you're d at least having something to work towards. It's not just uh, mindlessly playing a game of League of Legends or something. The new systems just came out and everybody's hype for those. I probably won't be getting either one because I'm mostly uh, on PC. Which one's the better system? What have the reviews been saying? What have the, the critics been saying? I was always a little bit more of an Xbox guy, uh, just my preference, big Halo guy, Monsters 2. Um, we're only going to Mom. It's a nice, it's like, a, just for Mom, it's a decent DPS up, but I don't know, it's not worth a heart. We can do better. Especially if we, like, get some angel rooms, that would be cool on the first episode. We're gonna see if we can find a secret room, as well as, uh, blow up some guys. That's one of the things my Isaac gameplay could do a little bit more of. Um, sometimes secret room locations. Uh, sometimes I mess them up when I probably shouldn't have. I don't know if... I think that was a potential secret room location. I don't think I necessarily messed it up. Saw someone had said my name, which would be very scary considering the fact that I'm, I'm home alone in the middle of God knows where. I mean, I know where. In the middle of, I was going to say, uh, BF nowhere. In the middle of the woods, so somebody was calling my name. Um, I don't know anybody for, uh, like 50 miles or something. I'm finishing my degree at GVSU, but because it's only one semester that I have to do this year, I, uh, I am not renting out a place on campus. I'm living in my cottage, which is about an hour commute away from the school. So, um, gets a little lonely up here. And I, you know, don't know anybody for, like I said, a 50-mile radius. 
Maybe not 50 miles. I don't know. I'm kind of bad when it comes to directions. Because, like, Google Maps just tells me everything. All I know is that I have to drive this way for 3.5 miles. And when I get a mile away, I'll get a little notification that says, Oh, by the way, you're a mile away. You know, it doesn't... Uh... I, I don't require... I'm also bad with directions for that same reason. I require no brain power, no brain usage to know how to get from point A to point B. My phone tells me it all. Uh... Nothing happened there. Nothing happened. So we're gonna wait till peep is a little bit lower and then we're gonna use my best friend. The reason we don't use it in the very beginning is because the lower... Wow, man. The lower you get peep, uh, it will start to send its eyes out to attack and um, like that. So we want to use it right when it sends both eyes out and this way we can try to reduce the amount of time we're fighting peep where both eyes are active. So let's just throw it down because it's about to use it. It's about to um, send out the other eye. Yeah, we took a hit. This was horrible. Absolutely horrible. What are you gonna do? Sometimes you have bad bosses. Oh, we finally got a good item. My uh, hair is really long. It's kind of pulling on me a little bit. Uh, is multi-dimensional baby worth picking up either? You know what? You know, we could have unlocked a new character, I just realized. Actually, we still can. If we take two deals with the devil, we unlock a Zazel, I believe. And we still have to go to the treasure room. So, yep, graduating in just three short weeks here. It's going to be a blast. I cannot wait to be done. I'm a little bit, um, lazy. I say, you know, like, finding a job in, uh, like, COVID times, your first job, it's going to be hard. Uh, I haven't sent out that many applications. I should probably send out a couple more. And, I mean, it's, it's not really, like, you don't send out applications you do one of two things. You send out app one of three things. You send out applications, you connect with um, like an internship you've had in the past or uh, uh, a connection you have saying, by the way, I'm looking for a job or you um, get introduced to a company through like a, uh, a school sponsored connection website. Like we use Handshake. And I get messages from Handshake almost every day. People saying, like, by the way, apply for this job. I guess I'm still just sending them an application, but it feels a little bit more uh, formal. We've unlocked Lazarus. Oh, and we are... Let's donate 19 cents if we can. Nope, we got three, <laughs> three cents. Nice. I want to make sure my uh, thing isn't blocking most of the screen here. Looks pretty decent. Uh, I might adjust the camera later on, but like... Let's see. Yeah, a lot of times we're not walking in this corner. We only miss the very corner. I can adjust the... Uh, I'll adjust it. Here. Pause. So my, so the camera is small now, but we really don't need to see my face for this game. There's not really any like reactions. I'm going to probably be relatively calm playing Isaac. It's a calmer game than some of the other things. Then like Hades, for example, where you're constantly like making facial expressions and yelling and it's very eccentric or exaggerated. In case you were wondering, my degrees are in uh, international business, economics, and I have a minor in German. 
Uh, I would love to work in Germany, but it's not necessarily my... Uh, it's not necessarily my... My dream job, I'd say. It would be awesome and I would love it. I've gotten some under the table offers to work in to work in Germany a little bit. Um, but I wouldn't be that upset if I wasn't over there. All in all, I just want to find a job that pays me decently well. I kind of didn't mean to do that, but it also might have saved us some damage. It almost looked like I was gonna get dragged into those spikes, and I know the dragging stops. Um, but I still think I might have hit them with my momentum. We're just gonna do some gambling because there is a uh, skittle. Because there's um. Nothing to donate in the shops, and for these first couple runs, I don't really need to buy any items to make sure I win. Uh, I just have to donate, really. It's my main goal. Donate as much as possible. I'm just gonna go ahead and proceed with the, the game. Did it not count us finishing this? Uh, I guess we'll just buy a key. Yep, it didn't actually count us finishing this room. It's interesting. Gertie. Gertie, Gertie, Gertie. Gertie's pretty simple. I'm taking a lot of dumb damage here. Uh, obviously. That's alright. Gertie is a disgusting pile of organs and bile filled sacks and valves and tubes with a face and two small hands protruding from the top little chubby we got belly button. Belly button is a uh, bad item that I still am not 100% sure what it does. I think it lets you hold two trinkets, actually. I'm 99% sure. The depths. So. I think the DLC is supposed to come out before 2021, so we should just be, you know, about a month away, right? You know, I didn't even realize how close Christmas is. I know I always, like, consider people um, celebrating Christmas right after Thanksgiving to be kind of, like, to be... A little bit too eager but now that i think about it you know it's just a month that's not a long time a one that means we re-roll our whole run so we have quad shot sin robes 
milk, which, and guppy with a bunch of health. Or er, guppy, not guppy, but uh, the dead cat with a lot of health. Uh, seems pretty darn good. Okay. Uh, the the nice little synergy we have is that when we do get hit, um, spilled milk is gonna increase our tier rates, and we might actually be able to shoot uh, at a decent speed. You know what? Never do what I just did. With Harley Quinn, baby, we have a bunch of tears, which is nice. Okay, you know what? Never do what I just did. Wait, didn't I just say that? Deja vu. I'm going in those shops, because you know what? I can. Uh, Mama's actually going to be super annoying to face. Uh, the, our, our DPS is not very good. Our DPS looks cool because we have a lot of tears and we're able to kill a lot of enemies in one oomph of our tears. But our, uh, our boss slaying ability isn't, you know, the best. This guy, uh, kills his own dudes when he has spawned enough of them. The weirdest mechanic in the game. Uh, he'll spawn a bunch of guys and then just uh, kill them all. So I think we do unlock Lazarus and... Um, Azazel, I mean. Yeah. Buddy in a box as well. And Brimstone might be our... Little Brimstone might be uh, kind of our main source of damage moving forward. This is already a 20 minute episode, roughly, so you know what? That's not that bad. That is not that bad. And um, let's just make sure we don't <laughs> lose. I don't, I don't think we're going to lose. Getting little brimstone to go in the right spots is actually kind of hard. Requires a little bit of finesse, but that's okay. We don't really need him for most of these. Uh, most of these rooms. Piercing shots is awesome. We should probably use the High Priestess in this upcoming room. Um, never mind. Don't really need to. See what we get in the secret room. Anything fun? A golden poop. Uh, you know, if we had a donation machine that was still working, that would be a little bit fun. All right. Uh, don't use high priestess here because we'll die. So just don't press Q. Whatever you do. I I'm not sure if it one shots you actually. I think it used to one shot you. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it does if you get hit by the foot. But you might not have to get hit. I thought I could, uh, finagle my way there. So... This is gonna be episode number one. His mother Done. With the desire to serve her Thank you guys for watching. Down on I'll let the cinematic play out. It's been a blast. If you liked the episode, leave a comment. And if you like the content of the jan uh, channel in general, go ahead and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. If you want to talk about anything at all, go ahead and leave it down in the comments. We'll have a nice little conversation.
just as he accepted his fate, God intervened, sending an angel down from above to stop his mother's hand. And just like that, it was over.